There are dozens of troublemaker words, phrases, and sales language that make you sound old school and outdated. I call these troublemaker words language landmines, word bombs, and phrase grenades. And I call them that because landmines, bombs, and grenades can cause your communication to blow up in your face. So let's talk about phrase grenades. When you begin an email, let's say a prospecting message, or even leaving a voicemail, using this kind of language, you're setting yourself up to fail. Are you using any of these grenades? You say things like, hope you're doing well. Hope you had a great weekend. I hope this email finds you well, or I trust this email finds you well. I hope your week has been wonderful so far, or any variation like that, where you feel like you're starting out your message by being nice and warm and trying to butter that person up. But there's a problem with that. Those outdated and overused throwaway lines and phrase grenades don't mean anything. They don't add any value to your message. They don't do anything to differentiate you in someone's inbox. And almost everyone is using these phrase grenades. Many professionals launch into these grenades because it makes them feel like they're making a connection with someone they don't know by being pleasant. But it backfires because it's completely generic, it's old school, it comes across completely insincere, especially if you don't know the person, and many spam messages start out with those exact phrases. If you don't know the person you're interacting with or don't really know them well enough, you come across as fake. Skip the superficial fluff and get to the point. Get to the meat of your message. Get to the reason why you're engaging with someone. These phrases irritate and aggravate the very people you're trying to connect with. I am not suggesting that you can't be nice in your message. I'm suggesting that you start respecting someone's inbox and you do that by leaving out these insincere, fluffy phrase grenades that do more harm than good and make you sound like everyone else. It's time to change your language. Now, it may take time to unravel this bad, bad business behavior, but it will be worth it. Are you guilty of using phrase grenades in your messages?